at all, I hope. You are an old friend? Well, you know what I do here. Tonight is Cabin Fever Crafting, and I go live and I try to make something within 45 minutes to an hour or two. If you're brand new, well, hey, welcome. How did you find me? I'm glad you're here. Got a lot of nice friends that come on here and make a lot of nice comments while I'm crafting live. And today I, th I said, you know, let's let's get out of the wheel. What, the wheelhouse? Let's change the wheelhouse because lately I've been doing the same thing over and over, painting and decoupaging, and I really need to make this, this costume because at the end of this month, and I'm sorry if I'm bending over, but I figured this is the only way you can see the whole table. Welcome to my kitchen. It's a little messy back there, but we'll let it go. And this is another thrifted outfit. This is, um, I forgot which name brand it is, but it is a name brand. I think it's Banana Republic, and I bought it at, I don't know, like seven bucks or something. And I thought it's so springy and cute. And, all, but, and it's comfy. It's, it's all cotton. It's very comfortable. And I thought, oh, this is perfect. Now, can I ask you why are there no pockets? Would this not be a perfect dress with pockets? There'll be another day where I, where I will teach you to make pockets. Not that I know how to make pockets, but we'll learn together. So, let's get started. Hi, I see people commenting, but I can't see your comments because the phone's so far away. And... Believe it or not, in the background, very quietly, very quietly, I'm playing my favorite movie. If you don't believe me? That's enough. Can't play any more than that, but you know which one, what I'm talking about. All right, so let's see what you guys are saying. Hi guys, hi Jack, hi Simply Becky, hi Deborah, hi Rosalie, Juggernecker, you got your package today, all right, cool Leah, did you like your stuff, awesome, all right, so, I need to make a, uh, um, I'm, I'm collaborating with um, Mrs. Christmas, which is um, Sydney and Tracy Ann, on the 30th of today, of this month, because we're celebrating uh, you know, Christmas in July is right around the corner, and uh, she called me the Halloween Queen on her channel, and I said, I gotta live up to that. What? You call me the Halloween Queen on your channel? I gotta live up to it. So, I have no pattern at all. I don't even have a printer. So, I had to like draw the dress on like a scrap piece of paper, and this is actually a shot by shot list for a film that I was in, and yes, he used teddy bears. This is Jonathan, he used teddy bears. That's me, that's me as a teddy bear. Oh no, that's Sherry, not me. That's me, that's me as a teddy bear, the, the menacing teddy bear there, it's hilarious. So I have it drawn out here. I've picked out these fabrics, I, wa I wanted to get your input, but I think I, so remember all those fabrics that I got for free from a friend? Here they all are. And the only one that's really got a lot of fabric to it is this black one. But all these other ones, like I really can't make a full dress or even, I barely can make a blouse out of this. So, I mean, this is even too small for a blouse. It really is. So I said, you know what? This is perfect for dressing Sally. And I got the pink and I got the yellow. So I think I've got all the colors of her outfit. Let's see what you guys are saying here. Hi, j Let's see. Love everything. It was like Christmas today. Yay! I'm so glad. Hi, Marlene. How are you? Very cool. So, nightmare before Christmas. So, I'm watching it because this is, there's only two movies that I have purchased on Amazon. Which ones are the two movies? One you're listening, well, one you know right now. Which is the other movie you think that I watch all year long? So here's my plan. This is the dress. I don't have a pattern, but I have tissue paper. So I take my tissue paper together. This is the tissue paper you just used. And I remember my grandmother and my mom used to do this too. So this is how you make a pattern off of an already existing dress. And I was thinking of using this orange one because I thought this was more Christmas and more Halloween-y. But I don't know. I don't like... It's not bad, actually. Instead of the yellow, I don't know. I think I like the yellow. I think I like the yellow better. So, Hocus Pocus! That's right! 
when I get really sad or depressed, I watch either Nightmare Before Christmas or Hocus Pocus or The Good Witch. What does that tell you? I love watching The Good Witch. I watched that series. I watched all, I finally watched all her movies because I found them all for free on, on, I don't know, Hallmark something or other, on actually on YouTube. And then I watched the series. I haven't caught up with series six yet. The only one I watched was The Mandala, which was, I thought it was a strange episode. So anyway, let's move this out of the way. Hi, hi, oh, that's so sweet. All right, so for this dress, because it's a very simple dress, as you can see by the pattern, that's my pattern, because I can't even print it, I don't have a printer. So I decided to use this dress. This is what I call my house dress slash pajamas. As, I mean, I think it's a perfect, a perfect pattern. By the way, I bought this off of Amazon, I think. Um, and it's wonderful. It's, it's nice and stretchy and comfy and warming. So this is what I use at night. I don't know if I want to make it this wide, but you know, let's keep it on the safe side. Let's make it wide and then, you know, because I might make it, you know, like a little more like vintage -y looking, like Disney bouncy. You know? So, that's a little over on that side, but that's okay. So, let's just start cutting. Now, I got two scissors, and you know the rule one scissors for fabric, one scissors for everything else. This is my fabric scissor. If I see anybody ever using this, it has some fabric on it there. I, I will go bazonkers. Hey, a belt. You can always wear a belt. Yeah, that's true. I'm catching up on Grace and Frankie now. Oh, cute. I only watched the first season. You know what? I have to catch up with it. And I love Lily Tomlin. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. And you're like, what is she doing? She's just cutting. She's not pinning anything down. No, not yet. You'll see why. Because after I do this, i got to figure out... Once I do this, and I'm going to do the end. The ends are going to be kind of jaggedy. It might not be like roundish like this, but it's just a guide. This is just a guide for me. And my fabric, this fabric has a lot of stretch, so that's why I'm keeping it big because this fabric doesn't have any stretch. It's like bridal quality fabric. But I want to make it easy enough that I can just put it over my head. Now this is a wrangling, wrangling, wrangling sleeve, so I'm just going to fold this in like that because I don't want a wrangling sleeve. I think that's a big enough arm hole. Not all fixed. The sleeve is gonna be like a little cap sleeve. You're like wrangling cap. What is she doing? <laughs> You'll see. And tonight, obviously, I'm not gonna get through making the actual dress today. But we're just gonna cut the pattern and cut the fabric itself. Now this, I'm gonna make it into a V-neck. But once I cut out the pattern, you'll see. And then the back is going to be let me do this around. Because that fabric is heavy enough, I wasn't worried about it moving on the tissue paper. But yeah, this is how you make patterns out of you know dresses you already have. At least that's how I do it. I know that's how a lot of designers get started. They just I think, I think deep down I always wanted to be a designer. There we 
go. And I'm gonna give it a V-neck. I don't wanna to go too deep. I wanna make sure it's like this V-neck. Oh, it's not a V-neck. Oh, oh well. I'll make a small V. Right there. And then if I wanna make it bigger, I can make it bigger. But for now, that's good. All right, now comes the fun part because I have to cut this into pieces that I can put onto the different fabric colors. Now, I could have gone with just one colored fabric and then paint it all, but I didn't like that idea. So, is you making a pattern? Yes, my mom made patterns in newspapers all the time. That's right. So, now I'm going to recreate the design onto here. So basically, and I don't know if I should use a pen or a pencil. Uh, well, I have a pencil, but no sharp, but well, not sharpened. Um, you know what, we'll just use a pen. We will just use a pen. So, and I have on here the different colors. So I'm actually going to copy this exactly. So I would say from right here, Oh, come on, Tim. From right here, it goes down to a diagonal. Oop. I need an extra piece of tape. What's this? What's this? Da -da 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 -da. I can't sing. here. It goes a, a little over to the side, so I'm going to go over a little to the side. So it's not directly in the middle. But it does come from the middle. Let's do this. This is really hard to like just freehand this. And it's gonna be shiny, so it's a little, it's gonna be like a little fancy. And then this is gonna go down basically to here. And this, let's see, is either gonna be I like the pink maybe. Because I don't have a lot of the pink. So this will be pink with the swirlies. Swirl. Yes, my grandma used to make patterns from newspaper all the time too. Let's just go down to here. And then it's gonna go, so this is around my waist. I just wanna make sure it's around my waist. So, right there. That'll look cute. I think, or should that be longer? Should that be longer? No, that's good enough. I think that's good. Maybe a little longer. Right there. Then, and there's going to be stitches over here. I'm going to have like stitches. Remember? She has stitches in her dress. Has everybody watched Nightmare Before Christmas? I hope. There. Now this part goes like this. Trying to make it a 
little straight. The back is going to be interesting how I'm going to make that. So this is black with like little white swirlies or white polka dots. And I'm going to have to draw on this fabric, obviously. All right, now. abstract you know nobody's gonna pay attention exactly this is blue or that blue green I guess that dark green green because <laughs> I didn't have blue you have a Sally doll why didn't you just steal the dress uh, that Sally doll is tiny <laughs> and I have, I'd have to go into the into the shed and beat all the damn dead cockroaches that are out there so, <laughs> I don't want to go to the shed and go through all my Halloween stuff to look for her. And then this, I might have to use the orange because down here, yeah, I will have to use the orange. So this is yellow. I have to go look at a picture for reference. Hold on. My mouse is not working lately. Actually, no, this blue green and then this. This is pink. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This is blue green. It's going to match up like this. And then this here is actually pink with stripes. This is going to be complicated. Pink. Blue green. And this. Sorry. <laughs> I had it all drawn out. I had it all drawn out. Wait a second. There we go. Pink with stripes. And this is yellow with dots jeez and then the black goes all the way down to here so all of this is black this is just for me to cut correctly and then it goes up like this and this is yellow Plaid. Oh my goodness, this was hard. All right. You got that, people? <laughs> this is pink. And this is going to be purple, I think. I like the purple here, not pink. Now, I've got to make sure I understand this before I start cutting. So this is black. I'm going to put like so I can see it in its totality like this. Okay. So everything that has like hashtags across it, that's where I'm cutting. 
because that's exactly where we would have black and then I gotta remember how to put this back together again it's like making a puzzle backwards Yellow. so I can remember it's like a Frankenstein dress because she is like a Frankenstein doll right the uh, permanent marker. I'm hoping it's not permanent. Oh, crap. I'll wash it up right now. <laughs> the things that only happen to me. Sorry, it's taking so long while I'm doing this. What are we going to do, right? At least we're doing it together. That would be hard to put together. Yeah, but you know, it'll be it'll be worth it. Oh my goodness. Okay, before I go any further, because I'm having a heart attack. Look at what I did. Oh Lord, I didn't think it would go all the way through. Let's hope what I got here. gracious this is called crud cutter and it cleans everything like everything so let's just hope we clean this oh, gosh. oh it's coming off it's coming off oh my lord people don't ever oh lordy 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 so how are you guys doing <laughs> Use rubbing alcohol. Oh, you know what I have also? Um, it's coming off. Worst case scenario. I hate this counter anyway. Nail polish remover. Let's try that. Yes, it's working. Well, now the camera will be extra sparkling clean. <laughs> oh, goodness. Now it smells like nail polish more. All right, I'll work on the rest of this later. <sighs> Only me. Only me, people. <coughs> oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> All right. I want to make sure there's no residue on here. Ooh, I need this candle real bad now. All right. One more white with paper towel. I know, I'm wasteful. I'm wasteful. I'm using a lot of paper towel, but... It'll come off. The rest will come off. 
My luck. I can't wait to change this countertop soon. All right, so let's take a piece of papel and let's make sure this is taped right. And let's start cutting. Don't catch on fire. <laughs> now I needed the candle because the smell is so bad. All right, so this is blue green. Okay, here's blue green. And again, it's, I don't have enough of this fabric to make anything substantial. Look, see, it doesn't even cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it on both sides. That's the only thing I can think of doing to make this easy on me. So I have to do this twice. So I'm going to fold it. like that. Where are my... Oh, come on. I have my pins here. Oh, please. I... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I have my pins. So now I do like to pin this. And then we'll put it together, God willing. If we have time. These pins are humongous. Now, should I pin everything first or should I cut as I go? Cut as I go and just use the same pin? I'll cut as I go. Okay. I like the way I talk to myself. Talk myself into that. I'm going to give it a little bit of like a quarter inch for selvage, just in case. Since this isn't an exact science, I want to make sure I have enough. Because it's easy to take it in, not easy to take it out. You should always leave a quarter inch. Or half an inch. I'm, I think I'm doing half an inch here for the selvage. You want to even when I cut patterns, I do that just in case. Just in case. And again, this is a costume. It's not like I'm going to wear it all the time. I will probably wear this for Halloween. Because I always wanted to dress like Sally, and now I have the costume. And I like that it's going to be this like extra shiny, pretty fabric. So there we have the back and the front. One down. Keep this pin on it. Don't know why, but I'll keep it on. Now, next, yellow. I have a couple of yellow ones. I have that yellow and I have this yellow. So this is the neck. Oops. No, I'm not gonna use that anymore. That's my pen. So this is the neck right here. Do you have a yarn? No, I found this fabulous red wig. I didn't like the yarn wigs. I bought this fabulous red wig. You'll see it. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. And it was so cheap on Amazon. I think I got it for $5.99 or something like that. The, um, the yarn wigs were a lot more expensive. All right. So here are the three pieces of yellow. Hopefully I have enough yellow. If not, I'll have to go into orange. Yeah, I have enough yellow. Plenty, plenty yellow. Something strange. Come on. Sorry. You 
Sorry. All right, so that's one piece of yellow. This bigger piece of yellow, this is the bottom of the skirt. So remember, try to keep everything going the same way, keep your fabrics going the same way. So this is the bottom of the skirt, so I'm going to use this. I'm mapping it all now so that I know I have enough of the fabric, because you don't want to cut your fabric and then find out, oh no, I didn't have enough. This has to go somehow like that. All right. Whoo, let me see. these two pieces out first and then refold this and cut the other one. Oh my gosh, I'm being so messy. What am I doing to have a yarn right now? All right, that's good. This is the crucial part because this is the bodice. anything else but fabric. And I'm probably going to cut the neck a little more bee-ish, but I'd rather have it like that for now, and then I'll cut it later. All right. And again, I kind of cut it in the middle. If I don't cut it in the middle, I'll think that they're supposed to stay like that, and it's not. <laughs> Goodness, is this complicated or what? <laughs> Have you guys ever done this? Oh, I didn't give this enough space. Now, because this is the bottom, I'm going to give it a little more leeway because I want to do the bottom like jaggedy. Does that make sense? The bottom of the skirt is going to be a little jaggedy. It's not going to be perfectly round. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I do want it perfectly round. Because I do want this to look almost like a Disney bounding outfit. Not necessarily a costume. I don't know. And I'm looking at this fabric and I'm like, do I have to like create? Do I have to, what is it called? Do a lining for this? I don't want to do a lining for this. I am anxious to see the, the well, I'll, 
I'll put it together with the, with the, with the, what you call it, with the, um, ne the, the needles, whatever you want to call these things, with the pins, just so you can see what it looks like. Now, this part, is that last yellow part, yellow dots, it's here, now I can pull this like this. got to be the other bottom of the skirt, so let's do this. There we go. Alright, now, now this is it. Just like that. I so I took sewing in high school. Oh, cool. Do you sew a lot? I never took sewing like formally. It was just my grandmother teaching me. This was the hardest color because this had the most, the most pieces. So once we're done with yellow, we can do pink, purple, and black, and we'll be done, and then we can piece it all together. Just like Professor Fable's time. Just like he pieced together some. how to put it back together. That'll be hilarious. Purple. Purple, 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 purple. And this purple here, and this is going to have black stripes. for the video and it's good enough for the video, I'm happy with it. I had a swim class in high school, I failed only two. <laughs> oh my gosh, how funny. I wish I had taken like a real, like real sewing class. Like I learned how to do it, but I wish I had learned how to really do it right, you know? I love this color purple. That's why I had to use the purple. I remember there was a reason, not only because I like purple, 
but because I didn't have a lot of pink. So, but this is good. It'll work out. It'll work out. And the pink goes. Actually, the pink goes like that. So, This. Perfect. Pretty and pink. Pretty and pink, and I love this color. And I love all of these colors anyway, so I'm so glad I'm doing this. You know, after I'm done with you guys, I'm going to watch that movie again. Because I'm watching it, but without the sound, and it's not the same. Isn't it a gorgeous pink? I love this pink color. I have a Calvin Klein dress that I've been waiting to wear for a special occasion. I should just wear it for you guys. I'm just going to wear it one night here. Because, I mean, I'm not going out anywhere. It's not like I have a boyfriend or anything. <laughs> and cut. Uh, and the good thing is, is that, oh, see the difference? Cutting with this, and cutting with this. And the good thing is, is because I didn't, this fabric didn't cost me any money, I'm not worried about ruining it. Isn't that terrible? But if I had spent a lot of money on this fabric, I would have been like, oh, what am I doing? Let me buy a pattern. A pattern for this is like 20 bucks. Believe it or not. I was looking at it online and I'm like, heck no. Especially not for a costume. Look for an evening dress that I'm gonna wear. Yeah, I can get that. My mother's, my mother's, she still makes bride dresses. Really, Puerto Rico? Oh, nice. Wear your pink dress for a movie monologue. I know, I gotta, I gotta do a movie monologue again. I'm so bad, I just let that go. But it's just, I was, I'm tired, I get tired. I too get tired. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where does this go? And the black. I'll hold that up later. Don't be picking on me. Oh, this black is gorgeous. Gorgeous fabric. Gorgeous fabric. So Deborah you're from Puerto Rico, but it's a little thinner. So I'm glad that it's on the bottom, kind of, on the side. It's a little thinner, but it's okay. It'll, it'll, it'll be fine. It will be fine. So this goes like this. That. Kidnapped the Santa Claus. I used to hate that song because it's like, oh, what a horrible movie. And now I love that song. <laughs> Are you all doing this at home? 
Very reckless that Tiffany's black. Yes. I live in Connecticut. I know, but you're in Puerto Rico. I mean, but your family's from Puerto Rico. Annie, I need to head out now. Okay, baby. Don't worry, Becky. Thank you so much for being here and spending some time. It's a long, it's 45 minutes, but you know, we knew it was going to be a long one tonight. We knew it. But I said, you know, instead of just doing regular old boring stuff that I've been doing, all this stuff and failing at it because I'm not inspired. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta get inspired. Leah, are you gonna do an unboxing? You should have done an unboxing video. I would love to see you unboxing the goodies I sent you. Not a lot, but it was fun. It was fun putting my little goodie box together. I have to make one now for Tracy Ann to send her little, her little sign. Ooh, I'm being very generous with the salvage. Ooh, the salvage there. All right, ready? Gotta fold that up. Gotta fold this up. And I need a glass, a drink of water, real quick. Okay, ready? Now, let's start from the top. the neck. Why did this come out so weird? Why did this yellow? Is that the neck? And that's the, I guess so. What happened here? Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay, that's how it goes. That's right. I was like, that is so weird. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pin this here on the shoulders and fix it up so it matches a little better. That's why it's important to leave a little bit for the salvage. So if you mess it up, see you guys. There we go. Yes, we were all over Florida, Michigan. I know. Just want to pin it together so you can see it. So you can see the potential. And so I can see the potential too. I wish I had like sewing tape or whatever. There we go. The shoulder leap seems off. I'll fix that later. And there's the neck. Okay, now I need the blue. Cut this 
here and just cut in. Oh, I cut too much. All right. That's all right. So the blue, where does the blue go? Like that? I don't know how this goes. Oh my goodness. No, it wasn't like that. One of these pieces gotta go right. I cut too much of this. That's what happened. There we go. You see it? Is that how it is? Why do I have this hole here? Why do I have this hole here? coming together people somehow I feel like like this. Mind you, when you're about to sew, you never put your needles like this. You put them like this. You never put your pins. You put them like this. I'll show you like this. That way you can literally like almost sew right on top of it. But for this example, we're just going to do this. And then this goes over here. Perfect. Fits perfect. Ta-da! I almost feel like it's the Joker. <laughs> I know, the finished product, right? Now this... Goes like that. It would have been easier if I had like cut things, you know, in a certain way, but... I wanted to be artistic, and this is the this is the thanks I get for being artistic. Oh, let me cut this in half. Doesn't short edge blue go to that pink? Um, yeah, the short edge is over here. There it is. Goes there, and then this goes like this. And then you fold it like that, you see? Goes like that.
And again, I gave myself leeway with the fabric because I knew I'd probably screw something up. So, I guess there's no holes in between. And even, even if there are holes, doesn't matter. You like put patches on it, right? She's got patches all over herself. So. All right, then we'll do like that. Does that look okay? Yeah, it looks okay. I don't know why, I feel like I'm doing the Joker or something. All right, next is pink. Pink, pink, pink. No, purple. Cut this edge here. It's creepy. I can hear the, the tissue paper behind me. Sorry this is taking so long. This is a long episode. But hey, you know, we're making something new and different. So this goes over like that. Why do I have to get all artsy with this? I think it's like this. Yep. Is it like that? Yeah, I think so. I think it's like that. I think it is. And again, it doesn't matter because this is just for fun, people. See what it looks like. It looks like that. Or is it like this? No. Because this is this is the side. Like that. Coming up with my own design. So it's gotta go like this. It's gonna cover some of the black, but that's okay. I'll cut it off. As long as the colors are there. Interesting to watch, okay. As long as it's interesting to watch. It's like I watched Jamie Ray for an hour. Like I love watching Jamie Ray Vintage. And all she, she's painting. We're literally watching her painting. Oogie woogie. Cause I'm the boogie man. Great songs. I think this movie has the greatest songs. The greatest song performances. Did you guys know Pee Wee Herman's in this movie? Nightmare Before Christmas? And Catherine O'Hara? Did you know? pretty I like it I like it now next over here is orange I had I cut it out in yellow I don't know if I want it in yellow or orange because it's gonna be too much yellow don't you think yellow plaid comes here this is the bottom of the skirt What do you think? Do you think orange would look cool here? What character is Pee Wee? He's, lock, he's one of the three Lock, Shock, and Barrel. So the witch is Catherine O'Hara. The little Frankenstein, not the, yeah, the Frankenstein boy, that's Pee Wee Herman. And why is Pee Wee Herman in that movie? Because Pee Wee Herman gave 
Um, oh my goodness, how does this go? Wow, this is really see-through. I don't know if I want to use the yellow. It's really see-through. I might use the orange for both sides, for here and here. You know what? I'm going to make it a smaller piece of yellow. I'm going to cut it right there. And it is really see-through. Don't worry, I'll cut it on the other side too. It's humongous, I know. It looks humongous. Hmm. Let's be big enough now. wrong. Let's see. I really don't like the yellow one. I'm going to make a smaller patch of yellow. I'm just patching it up as we go along, people. Nothing goes to waste. Nothing goes to waste. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, this is like jazz interpretation of a costume. Truly. jigsaw kind of thing. This is crazy. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. I need orange, right? Yeah. I'm glad I'm using less yellow. I don't like the yellow. It's too see-through. Look at that. You can see right through it. You can see my underwear. My underwear. It's already long enough. Let me see. Oh, yeah. It's long enough, so I can just put a piece of orange here. You see it? I'll put a piece of orange here, and we're good to go. So I'm just going to cut the orange. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's coming together, guys. Look, you guys helped me make a costume. So I'll put a piece of orange. Is this really long enough? Let's see. Is it? I mean, it's kind of short on her. The yellow, remember, the yellow is going to be, yeah, I mean, it's just a few inches above. And I can put some trim on there. I'll put some trim. I think the orange is going to set it off perfectly. I might put the orange all the way to the bottom. Let's do that. So this is how I'm going to do it, people. I am just going to pin it on directly to the fabric. one piece of fabric that's not pinned down and I like to see it all pinned down to make sure it makes sense. Let's see. Just pin it like that for now. Alright. And it already has a pattern on it. Actually, you know what? This bottom part is perfect for hemming. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pin it here for now. I'm just going to pin it on top. And 
this fabric you can use the back or the front, it's the same. It doesn't matter. So, oh my goodness, it's taking a lot longer than I expected, but that's how it happens. And I actually like this fabric. It's so pretty for the bottom. I've used this as a tablecloth for Halloween. I know, I know, I wanted a jaggedy bottom. Oh well, I changed my mind. Maybe I want this more elegant. You know what's hilarious? I have to do this for the back too, but we're not gonna make you stay for that. I'm just going to make it easy on myself and cut this off. I don't have to be that artistic again. That's good enough. Because <laughs> I'm a boogeyman. There's always something in the air. A sort of feeling. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, my legs are tired. <laughs> Stretch this out. There we go. Almost made a boo boo there. You didn't know Pee Wee Herman was in this movie? Yeah. And Danny Elfman, he plays um, the little devil guy with the red hair. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, this pen is humongous. But I'm gonna use it. Alright, now flipping it over. Now I gotta cut this off. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. Amy, this is crazy. how I'm going to cut it off, people. And here we go. I'm already not going to see this. You know, doing jaggedy, you can't see it. You see? But you can see that that is definitely, and of course I gotta do swirls and stuff. I'm gonna trim this down so, you know, it gives me a little bit of a waste. But hey, it's done. <laughs> and you guys are here all the way. I really like the orange fabric. I think it looks pretty, but I like the little pops of yellow. I didn't notice how see-through the yellow was up here. I might have to double up on that. Because look at that, you can see the dots through there. Oof. All right, I'm gonna have to double up on that. Or 
switch this out with the orange. I might do that. I might take this out, switch it out with the orange, leave this little piece of yellow. How would that look with the yellow and the orange here? Orange and pink. Yeah, it looks pretty cute. What do you think? Orange and pink? I think it looks cute with the orange and pink, so I might just do that. You like it a lot. You like it with the orange and pink, or the orange—I mean, the the orange and pink, or the yellow and pink. I like the um, orange and pink, and just have that little sprig of uh, yellow at the bottom. So there you have it, guys. We did it. We made a costume out of tissue paper and scraps, and that's how you make a Sally costume. And I am so tired. I really am. But I'm going to come up here and say bye to you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed this. An hour and 11 minutes, and you guys stuck with me. You are amazing, and I love you all. You are really, truly amazing. I'm going to finish up doing the back, or, or maybe I'll just leave this like this and not use my kitchen all day tomorrow until I can do the back. Anyway, good night, guys. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow. Um, you like the yellow on top? Okay, cool. We'll leave the yellow on top. And uh, tomorrow, let's see if we can start sewing this. We'll see. Take care, guys, and good night. God bless. Take care. Thanks.